All right, in this particular lesson, what we're going to look at is solving systems of equations with fractions. Uh, we've looked at the two algebraic processes, and those are solving by substitution and solving by elimination. Uh, this isn't a new process, but what you'll notice is that in the second function, we have fractions. And in a lot of cases, this will scare a number of you. Uh, so how do we deal with these fractions? Uh, it's a pretty simple step. Uh, all you need to do is multiply the entire uh, equation that has fractions by its lowest common denominator, and that will eliminate the fractions. So in other words, if you look at these denominators of 3, 6, and 3, the lowest common denominator here would be 6. So if I multiply this entire equation by 6, uh, what you're going to see happening is that all of the denominators will disappear. Or more specifically, if you want to look at it, uh, it's the same as multiplying each individual term by 6. So uh, if I rewrite this function as just being uh, itself x squared plus 2 thirds x minus 1 sixth y is equal to 2 thirds. If I multiply each of those terms specifically by 6, and I'll do it in different colors so you can identify how I'm going to rewrite the next uh, equation. Uh, all you're going to see happen is that the denominators are going to disappear after I reduce. Uh, so in this first term, there's no denominator, so that would just get rewritten as 6x squared. Uh, in the second term, the 6 can reduce with the 3 to make 2. So your second term would be 2 times 2 times x, which would be plus 4x. Uh, in your third term, what you'll see is these 6s both will just eliminate each other. So I'm left with just minus 1y, or in other words, minus y. And in our last term, where it equals, uh, the 6 and the 3 reduce to make a 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And there is our newly formed non-fractional equation. So we could solve this just as normal, which some of you may want to try and do. Uh, others of you, if that is the main concept for this particular lesson. But uh, I will solve this new system in completion right now. Uh, so our new system is this here. And you can choose whatever method you want to. But what I've done now is gotten rid of the fractions. Uh, I'm just going to maybe use substitution. So if I add y, I'm going to eliminate y in the, or sorry, um, isolate y in the first function. I would have y is equal to uh, 3x squared minus x minus 2. And if I substitute that expression for y into the second function, I would have 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 4. And after I expand that and put it into standard form, uh, you'll see that it is factorable in this particular case. So it's going to be minus 3x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 4. And after I subtract 4 from both sides to put it into standard form and collect my like terms, 6x squared minus 3x squared makes 3x squared. Uh, 4x plus x makes 5x. And plus 2 minus 4 makes minus 2, and that's equal to 0. In this particular case, you could use the quadratic formula if you'd like to, uh, but it's always advisable to try and factor if possible. In this particular case, uh, it is factorable. It would be 3x and x, and it will be plus 2 and minus 1. And that leaves us with, us with solutions of x of 1 third and negative 2. So this would give us two solutions for y. So we're going to have two, uh, <clears throat> uh, two coordinates where these two functions intersect, or two solutions. Uh, you can substitute that value anywhere. I would substitute it into here where we already have y isolated. So it's going to be y is equal to 3 times 1 third squared minus 1 third minus 2, which is 1 third squared is equivalent to 1 ninth minus 1 third minus 2, which is equal to 3 ninths minus 1 third minus 2. If I reduce 3 ninths to its equivalent fraction of 1 third, what you'll see is that the 1 thirds cancel out. So it's just y is equal to negative 2. So one of our solutions is when x equals uh, 1 third, which is the coordinate 1 third, y equals negative 2. That's one solution to the system. Uh, the other solution is when I substitute 2 into this function here, I'll get y is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 2 minus, minus 2. Uh, sorry, uh, I've done a little bit wrong here initially. Uh, this solution here should actually be negative 2 because the factor of x plus 2 would have a root of negative 2. So if I substitute negative 2, sorry, so it should be 3 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 2. 
uh, which would be y is equal to 3 times 4 plus 2 minus 2. Uh, these cancel out, and that leaves us with y is equal to 12. So our other solution is when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 12. And those are our two solutions.